In this video, we'll use pedigrees to trace X-linked recessive traits through generations in a family. X-linked recessive disorders you may be familiar with include hemophilia and red-green colorblindness. When dealing with an X-linked trait, that means that the gene associated with the trait is located on the X chromosome. And we remember that males have one X chromosome paired with a Y chromosome, while females have two X chromosomes. So let's say this X-linked gene has a recessive allele and a dominant allele. For a female to be affected by this trait, she must be homozygous for the recessive allele. And any female homozygous dominant or heterozygous will be unaffected. For males, the phenotype is dictated by the single X allele they have. In the case of an X-linked recessive disorder, a male with the recessive X allele will be affected, while a male with the dominant X allele will be unaffected. Let's take a look at some pedigrees to learn the rules of X-linked recessive inheritance. The first rule of thumb is that an affected mother must have all affected sons. This is because an affected mother is homozygous for the recessive X allele, and therefore all her sons receive the recessive X allele and must be affected. Similarly, if both parents are affected, that means that they both carry only recessive alleles, and therefore all of their children must only be carrying recessive alleles and must be affected. Now from the other angle, you can see that an unaffected father cannot have an affected daughter. If the father is unaffected, he will pass on the dominant X allele to his daughters, who then must be unaffected. Finally, you may see an unaffected mother having affected sons if she is heterozygous. That's because she will pass on either her recessive or her dominant X allele to her son, dictating whether or not he exhibits the trait. With those ideas in mind, let's take a look at this practice pedigree to see if we can tell if the trait in this pedigree is inherited in an X-linked recessive manner. Okay, so looking at this pedigree, let's just start at the top and fill in the genotypes that we know, assuming an X-linked recessive mode of inheritance. So this mother in the first generation is affected, meaning she's homozygous recessive, and the male is unaffected, so he's carrying the dominant X allele. We know this means that all of the sons in this generation must be affected, and all of the daughters are heterozygous and unaffected, which checks out in this pedigree. Now if we look at this subfamily, we see that we have affected parents having all affected offspring. That's what we would expect with X-linked recessive inheritance. And when we look at this subfamily, we see that we have an affected male and an unaffected female. Their daughter is affected, meaning this female must be heterozygous, and her son inherits the dominant allele. So this family does follow standard X-linked recessive inheritance. And finally, looking at this subfamily, you see this female, who we know is heterozygous, can pass her recessive allele on to her son, making him affected, while their daughter is unaffected because the father has to pass his single dominant X allele on to her. So overall, this pedigree is an excellent example of the X-linked recessive mode of inheritance. Now let's take a look at this pedigree. Is the trait in this pedigree inherited in an X-linked recessive manner? Automatically, I look at this subfamily. Here, we have an affected mother having an unaffected son. If this trait were inherited in an X-linked recessive manner, this mother would be homozygous recessive and her son would have the recessive X allele, making him affected. Because this female has an unaffected son, we know that the trait in this pedigree is not following an X-linked recessive mode of inheritance. It must be following a different mode of inheritance. So now you should feel comfortable determining if a trait in a pedigree is inherited in an X-linked recessive manner. If you'd like to learn more, see my other videos on tracing modes of inheritance in pedigrees, like X-linked dominant traits or autosomal traits.